Family Spectrum here to show you another fun science experiment. All right, so here we have a cow eye that we're going to dissect, and scientists like to dissect things to get a better understanding of um, how things work, basically. So here I have an eye, it's a cow eye, and we do not have a cow farm here at Spectrum. Our eyes come from, um, we buy them and we order them from a company that um, sells things to science museums and, and scientists and labs. So there's a few differences um, that we know about cow eyes and, and how they compare to human eyes. I'm just gonna adjust this. Uh, so cow eyes have four muscles around them and we can kind of see the muscles here. There's a bunch of um, like soft tissue around. So the, the white part that you see here is some fat around the eye to protect it, give a little cushion. And then the muscle is here, that's like that darker red color. So cow eyes have four different muscles. They have one on the left side, the right side, and one that pulls up and down. So a cow's never gonna roll its eyes at you, but humans have six muscles, so we can have a more of like a diagonal motion that, that we are able to do. So before we, we see inside our eye, I'm just gonna cut out this extra muscle here and fat. Okay, so we've got a little extra muscle and fat <clears throat> out of the way here. Um, so you can see the back of the eyeball now. And right back here, there's this little nub that you'll notice, and that's our optic nerve. And I can talk a little bit about that um, later on, but first, on the outside, you'll see, here's the exterior of the eye. Normally, there might be some like eyelashes around here. And right away, we can see the cornea, which is like this protective outer layer here. Um, now let's see what this looks like. Looks like on the inside. <clears throat> so I'm gonna cut our eyeball right in half. Um, so here you can see, maybe I'll lift this up so you can see it a little bit closer. There's like this jelly-like substance in our eyeball here. And that's called the vitreous fluid and that helps keep our eye round and it passes nutrients around to keep it just a generally healthy eye. If you've ever noticed um, like floating things in front of your eye, sometimes those live in this fluid here. So that's why they're moving around as they're just coasting around wherever the fluid goes. So this is our front of the eye here, remember? So I'm gonna pop this thing out. And this kind of feels a little bit like an M&M &M to me. This is our lens. And our lens is um, normally not so hard. Like right now it feels very hard and, and cold and our eyes aren't normally hard and cold. That's due to just how it's been preserved. But the lens helps focus light into your eye. And then if I turn our eyeball inside out, you can kind of get a better idea so that this is the pupil in the middle here and our pupil is actually just a hole. Um, and it's protected by the cornea, but it's just a hole to let light and information in. And then around the pupil here, you'll see the iris. And if you look closely, the iris has this really cool texture. It's kind of like a, reminds me of a mushroom a little bit. And the iris is the color of our eyes. So cows usually have brown eyes, right? But I have green eyes and some people have blue eyes. Um, so that's where you'll see the color of the eye. So this is the back and you'll see this, um, it looks kind of kind of brown right now. And this brown part is this really fragile film called the retina. And the retina has rods and cones. So rods are responsible for low light and cones are more responsible for um, receiving information in like a higher light. So if you think about, um, things look more like black and white when it's dark. And then in when brighter light, we can see colors a lot better, and that's through the cones. So if I move our retina out of the way for just a minute, you'll also see this really cool, pretty, beautiful backing here. And that's called the tapetum. And humans don't have this, but cows do. In fact, a lot of animals do. Um, if you think about deer or cats, 
um, the dipedum is responsible for reflecting light back out through the eye. So it goes back out through the pupil, and that's to help animals see at night. So if you think about if you're like driving in a car down the road and you see eyes flashing at you um, from an animal, that's just the light that's flashing from your headlights back out to you. Um, and that light's hitting the tapetum here. And you'll also notice our retina is hanging on here. Um, and this is the um, other end of our optic nerve that we saw earlier. So the retina, if I can pull it out actually, scrape it away. Here's the optic nerve. So everything that you can see is sent through here, through this nerve. We can see the back of it here. Here's the back of it, but this normally, this was cut, right? So normally this would go all the way back into your brain, um, into your occipital lobe. Um, and that's where all that information gets turned into pictures in our head. So this is a cow eye dissection. If you have any questions, feel free to leave them in a comment or. Thanks for dissecting a cow eye with me today. Take care and stay curious.